Hello everyone, Monroe Steele here from Fashion Steel NYC and welcome back to my channel and another Miami weekly vlog. Make sure to give your girl a thumbs up. I'll wait. <laughs> and subscribe if you love fashion, beauty, lifestyle, and travel videos. Alright guys, it's another weekly vlog. I'm looking out of the window at this stunning view of Miami. It's gorgeous today. Um, I flew in from New York yesterday morning and last night I went to a Halloween party at Fountain Blue um, where Snoop Dogg performed. There were various DJs, people dressed up in their costumes. I met Rhea and a few friends there um, and we had just an incredible time. Um, so what I'm actually going to do is just rewind it back to last night, take you guys with me to that concert and then we will come back here because I have a few new in home decor pieces to show you all. I also got a huge order from Amazon because I want to do some organizing on my drawers and things today like my perfumes and I bought little knickknacks from Amazon that would make that super easy. So we're going to do that and then when I came back from New York I had a ton of PR gifts. Um, lots of skincare, perfume, I got a few clothing pieces in. So today is all about just being around the house, cleaning up, organizing, and showing you some new in uh, things that I got from brands. So without further ado, let's rewind it back to last night. And y'all can tell I had a good time because my voice is gone and I got a headache, I got a hangover. Y'all can see why. All right, let's rewind it back to last night and I'll be back soon. Hey y'all, so I got myself together. I'm getting ready to head to Fountain Blue for their Halloween party. They're having one tonight, Friday night. They're also having one tomorrow, Saturday night. And I think I'm going to both. Tonight, Snoop Dogg is the um, headliner performing. Um, it should be really fun. I know they have a few activations like Cirque du Soleil dancers, um, celebrities. It should be really fun. Same thing for tomorrow. So yeah, I do not have a costume. Like I wasn't even thinking about a costume. I don't even know if it's actually a costume party, but I mean it is a Halloween party. So I decided to go, I don't know, like Vampy, Morticia, Northwest, I don't know, I'm a bunch of things, but I just went, you know, Monroe 2.0. Um, I'm wearing this bustier top, this corset top from and other stories. It is so good. It zips up the back here. Um, you can kind of wear it off the shoulder like this, like I am. I feel like it just gives it kind of a, a Victorian vibe, or you can wear it on the shoulders. I'll be sure to link this down below. The quality on it is incredible. I'm wearing my normal size, which is a US size six. It fits great. Um, the lip is Riri. It's Fenty Beauty. It is um, the uncensored um, Stunna lip, lip Paint. And y'all, have y'all heard Rihanna's new song? Like, I woke up out of my sleep <laughs> last night to listen to it because it dropped at midnight. Um, and it's so good. Like, as soon as her voice comes on, I'm like, oh my God, Ray. Now, I don't really stand for a lot of people, but I stand for Ree. Like, I will be a fan and a stand for Ree Ree. Uh, I haven't figured out if I'm going to wear earrings. Um, I still have my hair in these braids that you saw in the last vlog. The skirt, Rick Owens, the shoes, Colt Gaia. I gotta figure out what bag I'm gonna take and what scent I'm going to wear tonight. But let's go ahead and figure that out. All right guys, I hope you can see me well enough, but this is the full look with the and other stories. Bustier, it is just the stuff of dreams. I'll link it down below. The skirt is of course Rick Owens. I wore this during Paris Fashion Week. And of course I have to wear it again. I'm gonna wear it any chance I get because it's such a good skirt. Um, and of course the shoes are my Cult Gaia sandals that I got from Farfetch. They are super fun. Love these. Um, 
I do have a code, it's FF Monroe, all capital letters, for a discount up until October the 31st. So I'm not sure when this video is going out. I think it'll be after that. Um, but yeah, so good. So that is my Halloween look for tonight. And then I'm gonna have to figure out something for tomorrow because I'm going to the party tomorrow as well. And of course, I am loving my new mirror from uh, CB2 that I showed you guys earlier. Um, uh, it's so tall and so thick. Uh, and it's not a funny mirror, which I just, I love that for me. Um, these are really comfortable shoes too, so should be a fun night. I wanna figure out a bag and a fragrance. I think I'm gonna go with Tay Noir. I feel like Tay Noir gives me very mysterious, um, sexy vibes, and that's what I'm going for tonight. So I'm gonna wear this, and I'm gonna mix it with the Zara Unusual Fruit. So many of you purchased this. It's $20, and I love it. I love the fig in it. Anything with fig in it is just my jam. Fig smells so good. So let's go ahead and combine these two for tonight's fragrance. All right, gonna spray this one on top, whereas the base, it's my Tay Noir. Mm. I haven't worn this in like a week and it smells so good. And maybe just like two or three pumps of this. And we have tonight's fragrance, so good. So I want something that's super easy to carry tonight but it also matches my outfit. I'm thinking I might carry the Dior, um, my brand new Dior bag that I got in Paris. And also it's giving like, you know, fun superhero type vibes, but I don't know, is it killing the vibe of the, of the outfit? I don't know. I feel like it might be doing too much. We'll see. Um, okay, so I'm gonna call my car. I'm meeting Rhea and a bunch of friends there. We're gonna have so much fun. Of course, I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's do it. Am I gonna wear an earring? I think I'm gonna put my diamonds in and call it a night. All right, guys, so I did choose an earring and it's these little silver hoops that I got from Pretty Little Thing. They had a pop-up here and I ended up grabbing these earrings at the pop-up. I don't have a lot of silver jewelry, but I like that they match like the CD on this bag, which is silver. So yeah, and they're very extra and I wanna be extra tonight. All right, so that's the look. Anything that's still available is linked down below. Let's go.
so that was fun <laughs> i had such a good time um i think i drank a whole bottle of champagne and i'm paying for it hence the coffee an espresso double espresso dolce so good um yeah i know so many people are going to ask about this house dress it's super old from nasty gal i've had it for like three years i doubt you still have it but you all seem to love all of like my house dresses so i'm just going to link a ton of them that are available <laughs> down below um and the thing about me and house dresses is i just like to look nice <laughs> for myself when i'm in the house um i rarely wear like sweats and stuff around the house like i would wear that out to travel before i would wear it around the house i just like to feel like a goddess when i'm in my home and yeah that way i don't really have to put on clothes if someone visits or if i get a package or something like i can accept anything just like this so yeah that's that on that had a wonderful time um so now what I'm going to do is go through and show you guys just, I don't even think I have a lot of new home decor, just a few bits. And then I'm going to show you all of the stuff that I ordered from Amazon. And I'm going to go ahead and get uh, organizing. Maybe I'll do a little uh, like a montage of me organizing things. Like I need to organize my desk. And then I'm going to go through all my PR because it's so much. And I mean, I'm very appreciative of all of these brands sending me things. But literally, I'm breaking down boxes every day. <laughs> every day. Like, I am a professional boxer breaker downer. All right. New in, home decor. Maybe you noticed, but I have a new mirror. The mirror that was here before was an arched mirror. And it was kind of like a brassy nickel color that I did not like um it was also a funny mirror everyone always asks about those mirrors they are from west elm they were 500 dollars a piece the glass is a funny glass like it makes you wider um and i feel like for that amount of money like ugh, no so anytime someone asks me for a link to the mirror i don't give it to them because i don't think it's a good mirror to have this one here is from cb2 it is super tall. I feel like it's maybe 72 or 77 inches tall. It's so tall, which I love because it can really fit you in the frame. And it's um, rectangular and then it comes out in a white wood, which I love. I feel like it really matches my aesthetic for this place, which my aesthetic for this place is very, very minimal. Not a lot of color, like everything white. I don't even want to think about color. <laughs> I have enough of that in my wardrobe um and it just makes it easier to film so let me show you the new mirror all right guys so this is the new mirror and i love it because it's a true mirror the glass is true it's not a funny mirror and it's huge like look i mean my ceilings are pretty tall but look how tall that is it's really really sturdy i can get a full outfit video in i can film without you really seeing anything else um, let me show you the material because I want you to be able to see it. Had to turn it down a little. Okay, so it comes out that much and it's this beautiful like white painted wood, which I think is really cool. It has rounded edges and you can see like how far out it comes, but it's such a lovely mirror and i love that it just is almost seamless like it almost feel like it just goes with the wall which i like um eventually i feel like this area over here i'm removing this rack um i think i'm gonna get a couch there put like a little rug um i might even consult someone about designing this room because i have nothing left to give when it comes to just home decor like my brain is done i just want a professional to come in and do it in a day and it's done because i'm in and out of miami so much i don't even have the time to like wait to have the furniture delivered because chances are i won't even be here so we'll see what becomes of this room but i would like to get this room done before christmas but this mirror definitely stays and i ended up putting um the other mirror just here 
in my closet. It's not going to stay there. I'm probably going to end up selling it or giving it to someone. But yeah, that's what I did with that mirror for now. But all in all, loving this one. I will link this down below from CB2. It is huge. Like, it's the perfect selfie mirror. And I love it. Like, I'm obsessed with it. Um, so that's what I got in. Let's head downstairs so I can show you all of the organizing things that I've gotten because I want to organize my drawers. Let me show you my drawers here. All right, so we're in my bathroom. Um, this drawer is like my makeup drawer and it's pretty organized. Like I already bought these little organizers from Amazon that have been really helpful. All of these are in different little organizers. But as you can see, it's it's looking nuts. So I really want to reorganize this and I also want to wipe down all of my um, cases and wipe down all of my makeup because like you can see there's like makeup bits on everything and it gets my hands dirty and then I touch the walls and it gets the walls dirty. So I need to wipe down all of my makeup things. This is one of the drawers that I need to <laughs> organized better now i have these two little separators here and here that i also got from amazon but like look how this is just it's still unorganized so i want to organize these drawers today over here i have my hair products which is pretty organized but even this like that gives me anxiety <laughs> it's pretty organized here but down here, it's starting to just overflow. Like I just have, even though I have these separators, it's just looking too messy to me and I need to make it look better. So that's what I want to organize. I'm going to show you my uh, drawer that I had built down in my bedroom um, that I want to organize those uh, drawers as well. Okay, so we're in my bedroom. Remember I had this built? Um, so in here, it's pretty organized, but I feel like it can be more organized, especially my drawers. Like, I don't have a ton of drawer space. They're pretty shallow, and I'm really trying to pack a lot of stuff in these two drawers. Like, I have my, um, like my underwear and things in the first drawer, um, and then in the second drawer, I have all of my workout gear. So I ordered separators to kind of organize that better as well. So for now, everything is just kind of thrown in here and I don't like it. <laughs> like I need to figure out what each drawer is for. I do have a little cubby here of uh, beauty products and makeup products that I want to try that I get from brands. But it's so much like look how they're just packed in there. So I need to organize all of this stuff. And then here... I won't show you my top drawer because that's my unmentionables. Um, but my workout gear is in there and it's just kind of packed in there. So I just want everything to look very nice and very organized. I also ordered something to place my perfumes on. Now, these perfumes are the ones I don't really wear as much. The ones that I wear a lot are upstairs because that's part of me getting dressed is to spray perfume at the end. But I do keep a few of them here like that I wear at night or that I wear during the day when I'm just at home like just for me and then up here I have like some towels and things so I just really have to organize this because it's driving me insane when I open that this closet and I just see a bunch of junk like it's not giving all right guys so let me show you what I ordered from Amazon first up I ordered these little trays that I can sit my candles in. I like the color of them. You guys know I have a little bit of a wood theme throughout my home, so I thought that these would match well. They come with three, so I'm gonna find places to put these and put my candles um, on them so that like the heat from the candles doesn't ruin anything. Not that, it, not that it would, but I just think this is more visually appealing. I'll link these down below. They come in a set of three. I also got these two drawers. These are acrylic drawers. Um, and I'm going to organize my desk with these because I have a desk 
that opens up on the sides for storage but like everything's just a free-for-all in there and I want it to be more organized so I ordered these they come in a set of two and I feel like I can throw all of my electronics and things in this and they're just not like all over the place by the way all of these things from Amazon will be linked down below I do have an Amazon store as well with all of these things in it um, as well as just things I love from Amazon and I buy on a regular basis now these are acrylic drawer separators. You saw the kind of like white ones that I have. I wanted ones that were a little more seamless. So I went with these acrylic ones. Let me take one out. So these acrylic ones are really cool. They are also, you can uh, determine how wide by just sliding it. You see that? Or how narrow. So you can customize this to whatever length and I like that they're clear so I feel like that's a more seamless look I think it comes with let's see one two three four five six seven in a box which is great this will be really great for my drawers and then I also ordered more like little organizers like the ones I have for my makeup so that I can organize that second drawer um oh and then I got this little thing you can't see what it is yet but it's to hold like perfumes and things you build it and it looks like a little uh, a little shelf um so we'll do that as well so again all of these things are linked let's get organizing Right, guys so so far this is the progress I've made with this little area still looks pretty much the same but I did build this little perfume holder as you can see it's acrylic it was very easy it's just four little pegs and you put a screw in um, from Amazon and it's super cute so I'll be sure to link this down below if you guys are interested I ended up just putting my magazines in here these are the things I use like every day um the kills cream de corp lotion which is the best lotion in the world um you guys are always saying how my legs are shining and this is because of this i'll link it down below i'm also really loving the susan kaufman um marigold body oil it smells incredible and gives you a nice shine and then kind of like my fragrance for the day or when i go to sleep if i'm not going anywhere chances are i'm wearing bois d'argent from Christian Dior. It's like one of my favorite fragrances just for every day. Um, yeah, it smells very pretty, very feminine, very light and airy um, with a twinge of uh, sweetness. So yeah, I keep these products here because these are the ones that I use the most. And also they're a little oily, so I put them on this little tray. Um, here I have this little pillow from Christian Dior. Like anytime you order um, like little Christian Dior beauty and home care products. Sometimes they come on top of a cute little pillow like this. So I use this to throw any jewelry on um, before I go to sleep. So like my earrings and necklaces, I have them on now, but I'll usually put them here before I go to sleep. I did end up just organizing my drawers and rolling everything. Um, these are like clothes that I wear out if I'm doing something like sporty these are my unmentionables um, here is all of my workout clothes and I just ended up folding them nicely and here are like uh, house dresses and things I like to wear around the house or to sleep um, so yeah that took me about I don't know an hour to do I think here I, I'm gonna put books because I have quite a bit of books um so yeah i'm gonna put my books there and then i just kind of organized my beauty products here in these little cubbies um these are like skincare things um and up here is like body things like uh um sunscreens and body lotions and things and then i have still a few empty cubbies for things 
so yeah i'm liking this a lot better um a lot of my workout gear and things i ended up putting inside this little uh chest from cb2 and we're pretty much done with this room and in my bathroom i just ended up reorganizing this drawer a bit with skincare products and things that i use almost every day and then in the second drawer i just have things i stock up on i have my cleansers my deodorants shaving things over here i have all of my head wraps and things and then uh when it's that time of the month i have <laughs> different products for that so yeah everything is looking very organized and nice all right y'all so we are in my bathroom i took a little break because i was feeling very ill <laughs> i needed to eat something um but i have my little lysol wipes here i'm gonna go through my makeup drawer and just clean everything because a lot of it has makeup all over it and then i end up touching my clothes and getting everything all messed up so that's what i'm about to do i also showed you guys these new little uh organizers that i brought so i can organize the drawer below it so let's just get into it guys so I am done wiping down all of my makeup and also just throwing away a few things that are pretty old or that I'm no longer using so everything looks nice and clean and neat and what I love about these drawers is that they clean easily like even this little gray part if I just wipe it with a white um, any makeup or anything comes right off so happy about that we're gonna move on now to this drawer and I'm going to organize it better using these little clear trays from Amazon. So here is a quick before and I'll show you the after. All right, so I finished this drawer. Here I have deodorants, soaps, toothpaste, um, and like body things. Here I have everything that I use pre-makeup and post-makeup. So primer, moisturizers, um, beauty elixirs, sprays. I put all of that here. And then I have these little packing things for when I'm traveling and I put makeup and things in it. I have those there. Over here, I just ended up consolidating my lip glosses and lip stains um, into these three little containers but so that I can actually see what they are. When they were in the drawer up here, it was too much I couldn't see. And this is just more body stuff, sunscreen and um, a body tint. Uh, yeah, and it looks really neat. And so this one, I also consolidated and moved some of my lipsticks down. Here I just have my um, matte lipsticks and then all of my lipsticks. And then I was able to create more space for our, all of my eyeshadows, which are here. All the things I put on my eyes here. All of my mascaras are here. I actually need to go through these because I don't use all of these mascaras. Um, and over here is everything foundation from um, all of these are my um, skin tints. All of these are my concealers and um, contours all of my powders, whether they are pressed or loose. Um, here I have blushes and creams. Here I have all of my foundations that aren't um, like skin tints. And here I have blushes and uh, highlighters. So yeah. All right, so now we're gonna get into my desk space. Remember I said I have the this desk and these little things here, they open, but like literally I just throw stuff in there. Like it looks, horrible so I'm gonna try and organize both sides of these with a few of those organizing uh, containers here from Amazon and we'll see how it goes all right guys so this is a lot better I ended up stacking these two because they click together can you see them? There we go. 
Um, and then I have these little drawers I can pull out, have all of like my little electronics in there. Um, the one at the top is the one I'll probably use the most because it has the batteries for my vlogging camera. It has my external hard drive for when I need to upload YouTube videos. It has the little clip that I use for my phone when I'm doing um, stories and I need to film them on my phone. This little bag is usually what I put all of my electronics in when I travel back and forth between New York and Miami. So that works. And then I had a few more of these little makeup ones. And so I just put um, a few of the SD cards that I have content on, whether that's YouTube videos or stuff for brands um, right there. And that clicks on there as well. So it worked out good. It looks nice and neat. Um, I just have my little uploader here because I'm gonna need to use that. And then I just threw this sunglass case there. So I did the same thing in the other side, but I'm not gonna show that one because that has like personal stuff like things in there so yeah just like business stuff nothing uh nothing crazy and then all of my little books and things i put in there where i write everything but it still looks kind of messy because right now i'm trying to charge my little light i use this light for my phone at night um when i'm doing content on my phone and it just clips on to the top of your phone it's super bright it's incredible i got it from amazon i'll link it down below or you could just head to my amazon storefront and look at things to make blogging life and youtube easier and this is in there as well i think it's like 15 bucks i took it with me to paris too and it came in so handy um so i'm just charging it using this little port to my mac so that's it y'all everything is all organized in the house today and i am feeling very accomplished so i'm just gonna rest for a minute and then i'll do an unboxing showing you guys some things i've gotten in from brands you can see a bunch of that stuff here um and i have some things downstairs as well so you guys are blinking i want to change the battery and i'll be back in a minute all right you guys done organizing which is really nice i've linked all of the products i use to organize down below um so let's get into some new things i got in from brands well, i got something from anitio perfumes um they had an event in new york that i was unable to attend so they sent me the a gift since i couldn't make it which i love when brands do that because it's harder these days for me to be back and forth so i believe this is their latest fragrance um anitio paragon and i'm not sure if this is unisex but let's get some more info on it so it's all about the power of science combined with the magic of science um yeah and when i open this box it smells so incredible there's also a stone in here and some sage as well as i forgot what this is called palo santo this smells incredible how stunning is this bottle it's so beautiful i love that let's give it a sniff wow so i just sprayed it and honestly it smells magical like the word magical and what you think of when you think of magic that's how this smells it's, so, it's slightly sweet, kind of smells like a forest. Oh my God, like I've never smelled anything like this before in my life. It's really, really cool. Let me see if I can find the notes. So here are some of the notes. We have the Palo Santo, white sage, lavender, and black pepper. That's what I was smelling, black pepper. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful fragrance. And the more I'm sitting here smelling it, the more and more I like it. I've never smelled anything like this before. All right, guys, so I'm definitely gonna link this below. If you are a fragrance lover and you like things that are just unique and that not a lot of people know about, this is it. And the bottle is beautiful. And I have some space over here. So I'm just gonna add it to my collection. This is, for me, I think this is a good everyday or a night fragrance. Like if you're going on a first date and you wear this, they're gonna be like, wow, what is that? So they also sent this case of all of their fragrances, which I'm very excited to check out. 
So we have Rehab, Musk Therapy, Side Effect, Atomic Rose, Oud for Greatness, and Blessed Baraka. And those are their scents. Like, wow, they all sound incredible. All right, guys, so I ended up putting one of those Amazon little wooden trays here with my candle wick cutter also from Amazon, I'll link it down below. Um, but I did just get a new end candle from Margiela Fragrances. I love them. This is one of my favorite candles for fall and winter. It is the By the Fireplace candle and it smells incredible. It came wrapped so nicely and they also gave me this box of matches, which I love these matches. Like I had just run out and I was, <laughs> thinking I was maybe gonna go buy some more. Um, and it just came, perfect timing. So if you're looking for some really great candles and scents, um, definitely try this one. It has clove oil, chestnut, and vanilla. And it is perfect for fall and winter and just like setting a mood in your place. I'm gonna go ahead and light this. All right guys, so that is it for new in things. I'm gonna rest. I might go to a Travis <laughs> Scott concert tonight at the same place. Um, it's like a weekend thing. Um, but I think I'm gonna do a mask. I have quite a bit of hyperpigmentation hyper just from like not eating right, stress, um, especially since I did the whole fashion month. So I'm really in the process of like getting my skin together but I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think I'm gonna do a mask. I also wanna do a workout today. Yesterday I did a bike ride. Today I think I'm going to do one of the supernatural virtual reality um, classes um, just to get a quick workout in and then shower and get ready for the evening. Um, so if I do any of those things that's worth watching, I will film for you guys. Um, other than that, I will check back in with you all soon. Good morning, everyone. Um, so I'm up bright and early. Today is Sunday. I'm heading to the Miami Design District to shoot some campaigns and a few looks with my girl, Maria, um, I'm shooting winter things here in Miami, which is gonna be hot. So I'm bringing my little um, portable fan with me. Um, but I'm shooting two looks for Abercrombie. Um, they have some really cute stuff for fall and winter. Um, you'll see, cause I'm gonna roll all of the footage, but everything that I'm wearing in my shoots will be in the description box, just expand it. Um, scroll down and you'll see links to shop everything. This sweater, so good. This little satin black skirt, oh, perfect for fall and winter. I've been loving black. I don't know what's getting into me, you guys. Y'all know I'm a color girl, but I've been loving black. I don't know what it is. Yeah, so I'm shooting this and then I'm shooting another look for them. These uh, leather and black denim jeans. So good the price is great too um anywho we're gonna shoot and uh then i'm gonna come back here and try and get today's vlog up uh and then i will either want to do a bike ride i think i'm gonna do a bike ride later i have to do some kind of activity every day because i don't know if y'all know this but i'm getting thick like boop and i mean i am mad at it because it's going to all the right places but i need it to be a little bit more toned uh, the lip is NARS Mysterious Red. I already got my bag packed. Luckily, I'm only wearing like two pairs of shoes, but it's a, a heavy coat I have to wear. Anywho, let me call my Uber. Um, but yeah, I was supposed to go to the Travis Scott concert last night, but I ended up not going. I just, I wasn't feeling the best. Um, and I was still kind of uh, 
delicate <laughs> from the night before the Snoop Dogg concert. So yeah, we'll see if I end up doing anything today. All right guys, so let's go to the Miami Design District and get our shop on. I mean, not get our shop on, well maybe, but get our shoot on, all right? finished shooting we did five looks super quick already done I think we started at like 10 30 it's 11 40 we shot five looks y'all so much fun again everything I wore is linked down below I'm still here in Miami Design District it's super quiet this early in the morning which is great um, I'm gonna head over to Pura Vida get myself a welcome to Miami smoothie maybe something to eat and I'm gonna sit and post some stories that I have to do for Dove. So yeah, it has to go up at a certain time, which is 12. So I have about 15 minutes to like get settled because anytime I post stories, I have to like have quiet time where I can sit and really make sure I get all the hashtags and things right because I don't want to have to repost it. So yeah such a nice day maybe I'll walk around and do a tiny bit of um, window shopping once I'm done posting my stories but all in all very good productive super quick shoot Maria is so good at her job like I love shooting with her she's great she also has a YouTube channel so definitely check out her channel it's Bella Rosa blog uh, ooh, they have some cute stuff at Tom Ford all right guys I'll check back in once I get my smoothie and I'm working intergalactic soundtrack matter of fact here's a something I want to say I curse all the time and maybe every other sentence in real life um, I try not to curse too much on my YouTube channel and I really don't but the amount of messages I got from when I was singing a song um, and I had my headphones in I was recording and I didn't bleep out the F word y'all gotta stop Here's the thing. Um, this is mostly a family oriented channel, but I'm gonna curse every now and then. This is my channel. I'm gonna do what I want. Living, 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 living. I'm gonna do what I want. And I feel like I can do what I want. Living, 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 living. I'm gonna do what I want. That was actually what I was listening to just now. But um, 
yeah y'all gotta chill because i mean i know i have a lot of older uh subs um people who watch my videos or whatever but i'm almost 40 i'm 38 years old so i'm not changing nothing um so yeah like if that bothered you and i was even singing it it's not like i was even saying it like that's too much y'all really need to y'all really need to chill and if that bothered you this is not the channel for you like you can unsubscribe um you don't gotta watch the video i'm not like forcing so yeah like that's that on that like relax please relax i can't believe it someone was like oh that's not classy i don't care <laughs> i'm i'm not portraying a classy person i'm portraying me and in my real life i curse all the time if you see me in real life you might hear an f bomb an a bomb a d bomb or a two or three or four you know but we try to keep it monetizable but i just happen to forget to belay music over that part Ugh, let me tell y'all people are so hypocritical knowing good good and well they curse all the time like Give me a freaking break. All right, guys. So I actually have to get today's YouTube video up. It's probably gonna take like an hour. Right now it's one. I managed to get my content up for Dove. I did a TikTok for them and some Insta stories. I love Dove. It's the only kind of soap I use. Like it's great. I also love their deodorants, the spray on ones, because anytime I'm like shooting or going to an event, I don't like wearing solid deodorant because it always cakes up. So anytime I'm like shooting and I don't want to get stuff on my clothes or I'm going out to an event where I'm wearing something sleeveless and people will see under my arms, I always wear a spray deodorant and I like their spray deodorant. It leaves no residue or anything and it smells great. So yeah, um, I'm going to get this video up for y'all and then I really want to go for a bike ride. I think my period just came on. Let me go see. I'll check back in with you guys when I'm dressed and ready to go for a bike ride. I definitely want to get at least, it's going to be a short ride. I'll probably do just like an hour. And then I'll come back here and maybe do like a workout on my MetaQuest 2. I actually did a little bit of it last night, but my headset died. So it should be fully charged now. So I should be able to get a good hour in on this. And it is so fun. Like, I worked out on the moon. Like, how cool is that? And then in a place in Egypt. So fun. I'm using the Get Supernatural workout routine. Um, and it's so good. They have so many good classes. All right, guys. Let me unpack this bag. Get this YouTube video up. And get ready to go for a little bike ride on the boardwalk. Just finished getting the video posted. It is now three o'clock. It took me about an hour to do the description box to make the cover photo in Canva um, and get all of that done. So I just put on this little workout outfit and I'm gonna throw on some sneakers, put on a waist bag and I'm gonna go and get a city bike. Um, I just been riding city bikes until I buy a bike. Uh, Maria actually just bought a beach cruiser and so I'm trying to decide if I want a cruiser because most of the time I ride on the boardwalk or if I want like an actual bike, like if I'm going to go on the road. And I feel like sometimes I'm going to want to go on the road. Today while we were shooting, we saw a bike crew um, going through Miami Design District. And I mean, it looks so fun. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm going to just get like a regular bike. But yeah, I have to figure that out. Anywho, I just feel like riding. So... I'm gonna go get a city bike. I'm gonna ride a little bit, come back here, probably do a workout class. I really been on my fitness because I'm feeling thick um, in a good way, but I need it to be a little toned. I think I said that already. Anywho, video is up. The latest New York City vlog with me doing the virtual reality course and going to Governor's Island for a cool whiskey event. That was a really fun vlog. Um, I'm actually thinking for the month of November, I'm only doing vlogs and I'm only doing one vlog a week. So a weekly vlog every Sunday for the month of November. I don't think I'm doing any videos during the week. I'm cutting back 
because right now it's just the busiest time of year with campaigns and it's just unless y'all want to see me shoot campaigns for every video i think it's going to be kind of boring so yeah i have a ton of campaigns like and they are rolling in and this is like when i make the most money of the year so i gotta be on it um i have a financial goal that i want to hit um so yeah i think for the month of november we're just doing vlogs every sunday it should be nice and long so it should get you through the week um and then in december i might actually ramp it up to three videos and kind of participate in vlogmas that way um not not vlogging every day that's not gonna happen but <laughs> maybe three times would be easy all right so i have myself a welcome to miami so freaking good let me get myself together so we can go on this bike ride what was that a dime where did a dime come from i mean it's cool that it's a dime because i'm a dime <laughs> period all right y'all i'll check back in when we're on the road i'll probably film my iphone because i don't think i'm going to take y'all on the bike ride let's go get some some miles in let's go get some exercise in i feel bad because i didn't exercise this morning because i had to shoot and i always feel bad when i miss my workout classes with um gloria I haven't been consistent enough and like with basel coming up and new year's y'all know every new year's your girl be on a yacht except for last year but we gonna stay in miami for new year's this year and I need to get my body right because I'm trying to be in the streets. Alright guys, let's go ride. boats are kept um and then back up and then back down so i feel good i got a good enough workout in but i still want to do an oculus i mean um a meta quest supernatural workout just to work out my upper body um so i neglected to take my make makeup off thank god it's just uh, the tinted moisturizer from beauty counter and it has spf in it which is great and it's not like makeup so it's not like clogging my pores but i'm gonna wash my face right now <laughs> and get this off and then uh and then i'll put my headset on and do a, a virtual reality workout for probably another 30 minutes that way i get a good hour and a half of workout in but feeling good is so beautiful. I love biking out when it's so beautiful like this. I usually try and get out when the sun is kind of going 
down that way usually about three between three and five is when i like to bike um yeah so let me get myself cleaned up and then we'll do a vr workout all right y'all my face is clean got my headset here gonna put it on get my controllers and we are gonna get started i think i'm gonna do like some bat play where i hit balls and duck and things and that really works my arms and my abs all right guys i can see you um because there is a screen that allows me to see outside of the game until i actually turn it on and i'm outside the bubble right now so i'm gonna get in the bubble is this recording yeah all right so this is my bubble i made it last night you take the controller and you kind of draw a boundary so you are not like kicking and hitting things. So right now it's asking me um, to create a boundary because boundary is not found. I look at the floor, I see a bunch of X's and so I'm just going to take my controller here and I'm going to draw where I don't want to go. And I just do a really big boundary. Just did that with my glove. And then I confirm it. So right now I'm in like this tropical room. It looks really freaking cool. It's like a dome. The sun is setting over here. There's giant rocks, a river, palm trees, a little alcove. It's like really cool. All right, so now I'm on a mountain, a glass, I mean a grass mountain, and I'm over overlooking mountains and hills and valleys the sun is setting over there it's freaking stunning um i'm going to do i want to do a quick hit oh no this looks like it's about to be hard <laughs> oh no So I did like three arm and upper body classes. I'm drenched in sweat. <laughs> My headset died, so I'm gonna let it charge up. It charges up just like an iPhone. I'm gonna shower and probably cook something to eat because literally all I had today was that avocado toast and a coffee, a banana, and that Welcome to Miami smoothie. And I need some nourishment because your girl has been burning calories all day. All right, <laughs> so let's shower and do that. And then I think we'll close out for today and start again vlogging tomorrow. Tomorrow I need to do a little shopping at Marshall's. You guys know I'm a Marshall's ambassador. So I'm doing a holiday campaign for them. So I'm gonna head to Marshall's and do some shopping. I'll take you guys with me in case any of you are interested in seeing like what they have in store for the holidays from beauty to clothing to home decor um, and fashion, of course. And uh, yeah, we have to pack because we're going back to New York. <laughs> I have two really big events and possibly two more um, happening in New York next week. So we're heading back to New York and that'll be it for New York, hopefully for the rest of the year, but we'll see. You never know, stuff pops up like all the time. All right guys, I will check back in momentarily. Good morning, everyone. Um, so today is actually Tuesday. I took Monday off of filming, um, but I did end up going to Marshall's yesterday to pick up some pieces for a campaign, like holiday things for stocking stuffers. Um, what else did I do? Uh, I cannot even remember. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm up bright and early. It is about 9.30. I already put on a quick face. The lip is Dior. Remember, I do have a um, code for Dior. It is Monroe22, all capital letters, 
for a gift with purchase and a free uh, mini fragrance when you purchase $150 or more of Dior um, beauty products and it's they have such good stuff like you can get candles the candles are so good they have a ton of different gift sets that are great for the holidays i'll link a few things down below um including this lipstick which is like the perfect red but yeah i've just been doing my makeup this morning i'm gonna do a reel for marshall's for gifts um and then i'm going to do a reel for a nail polish um, all of these are like campaigns, so if you're interested in seeing the finished product, just head over to my Instagram at Monroe Steel. So let me show you guys a few of like the stocking stuffers and things that I got from Marshalls that I think would make great last minute gifts. I've linked all these things down below. You can shop at Marshalls online and the shipping is super quick. Um, so first up, I got an actual stocking. They do have a ton of like holiday themed uh, pieces. Look how cute this stocking is. So it is a white knit stocking. This is from um, Rachel Zoe. And it comes in a set of two. And I'm just gonna use this for my campaign to like put all of the stocking stuffers in. But yeah, they have really good like uh, holiday decor. If you like home goods and Target, definitely check out Marshalls for like their holiday pieces. First up, a notebook. Can you guys see it? Um, I love anything Marvel and this is a 2022 to 2023 notebook. It was $3.99, like so good. It was a little too bright over there so I had to come over but uh, so good. Next up, earrings. Like if you have a very fashionable person in your life. You need a last minute gift. How cute are these? And these are like perfect for the holiday. So good. These were only uh, 12 bucks. And the quality is incredible. And these are Christian Siriano, which is a well-known designer. Um, next up, for anyone who's like a tech, a tech person in your life, I got this iPhone cover and the thing is it's soft touch and I love the colors. You guys know I'm really into like terracotta, whites, navy, beiges. They kind of match my home decor. I'm going to take it out. And they have tons of different like phone cases that are super affordable and very, very chic. Like look, how cool is this? Definitely a really great last minute gift. Um, and this was six bucks like oh so good so if you're looking for last minute gifts or stocking stuffers definitely check out Marshall's look at this I know the girls are going crazy for claw clips I mean I used to wear these in middle school <laughs> and now they're like a fashion statement but look at this set from Marshall's it is a matte like new matte black a matte terracotta color $5.99 for all three these are really kind of cute actually. Great stocking stuffer. Next up, fuzzy sandals. You can't go wrong with a pair of fuzzy sandals for the holidays. These are Jessica Simpson and they are super fuzzy and soft. These came in at $9, $9.99. Like originally $36, incredible. And they feel so good. Can't wait to like wear these around the house. But of course you could just interlock them and put them down into a stocking stuffer. They make excellent stocking stuffers. Uh, last but not least for a stocking stuffer, I got this Vanities by Kobe LED Vanity Mirror. And I actually needed this because where I open my closet down in my bedroom, I have shelves, but sometimes I need to see to take my necklaces off and things. And so this will be good to put in there. Um, you can also travel with this pretty easily and it's great. Like, it's perfect. All it takes is four AA batteries and you're good to go. And this was, I believe $12. Yeah, $12.99. So these make excellent stocking stuffers. They also have lots of like uh, holiday packaging and things. So yeah, 
I'm gonna make a reel featuring those things, like putting them in the stocking. I also bought like four outfits <laughs> from Marshalls. Like I cannot help myself, y'all. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a try on. Like right now I'm about to film the fashion portion of the reel, showing that you can get beauty products, um, accessories, tech things uh, for gifts, and also fashion. And I have such good outfits. So right now I'm gonna put on each outfit, film each outfit for a piece of the reel, and I'll show you guys, I'll talk you through every piece. So let's get to work. Today's a work day, y'all. fashion portion of the reel i'm wearing this stunning red ribbed like you can see the quality ribbed knit dress with a little slit on the side here from marshall's um i, sh I showed you guys this two-piece brown set it is so good two-piece brown knit excellent quality it came as a set the price on this was so good. I feel like it was $24.99 for both pieces together. I love that Marshalls does sets like that. And then I tried on this two-piece yellow set. Like, this is probably not going to be in the reel because it's a little more summery. But I love that two-piece set so much. I'm going to wear it tonight to an event. I have an event tonight with Mr. Porter, which is the male side of Porter. Um website uh net -a porter or net -a -porte, um and they're having an event tonight so they invited me for a cocktail and a dinner and i think that yellow dress or that yellow two-piece set would be great make a statement i'm gonna wear it with my um Loewe black bubble sandals balloon sandals and then this jumpsuit and i don't do a lot of jumpsuits because i tend to have like long legs and um like a longer torso and they just never the proportions never look right but this pink one oh uh, from um uh, marshall's so good the quality is so great on all of these pieces and then of course finally this dress so now i'm going to film the portion where i'm putting everything in the stocking i'm going to do a voiceover put it all together and send it to them because it's due at the end of the week um and then i'm going to go ahead and film this nail polish reel that's also due at the end of the week i'm just trying to get all of my work done today and edit it and sent because tomorrow i have an event with harlem's fashion row and amazon in new york and the day after that i have an event with oscar de la renta and my Teresa also in new york um i think after that event i'm going to end this vlog because it's going to be movie length um so yeah let me go ahead and film that. I'll check back in when I'm kind of like done filming and getting ready to head to the My Teresa event because I also need to pack because I'm flying to New York tomorrow morning, bright and early, first flight out of Miami International Airport. All right, guys, so remember, um, I am a Marshalls ambassador. I have been working with them for like the last year. They do give me um, a, a credit to buy all these things, so I just want to preface that and put, it, put that out there. But if you're interested in any of the things that you saw today, I'm going to try and find it on the, their website and link it down below um, because the quality is just so good, and you cannot beat the value. Like, the price for the quality is insane. All right, let me get this work done and I'll check back in with you guys when we are heading to the um, Mr. Porter, uh, my Teresa, not, not my Teresa, the Porter event. All right. Hey, y'all. So I'm all dressed and ready for cocktails to celebrate uh, Mr. Porter launch here in america um after the cocktail we're having a sit a sit down dinner which is really cool um it's gonna be at the miami edition hotel i believe in the matador room um so it should be fun i've been there before but i'm interested to see who's gonna be at this event i feel like some of my 
favorite Miami blogger booze and influencers will also be there. Um, it'll also be a good chance for me to connect with the Porter team. So yeah, let me show you guys my outfits. I just refreshed my makeup from earlier. Same makeup, the lip is still Dior. Um, and I put on this two-piece set from Marshalls. I just got it in. I think it's so cute. You know, I love yellow. Um, I feel like a lot of people, even though it's Miami um, and it doesn't get cold, like a lot of people still like to transition into wearing cold months colors here. So I feel like I'll make a big impression in a bright splash like yellow. But of course, I've added my and other stories uh oversized like suit jacket blazer to give it a cocktail vibe and my loewe sandals so let me show you the look all right guys i hope you can see me but here is the look for tonight i am loving this set from marshall's i believe it was only 29 dollars or 34.99 and it's so good i love this ruching here um and then i just put on my balloon uh, sandals from Loewe. Of course, these are conversation starters, so everyone loves these, so it'll be good for me. And then they kind of match the jacket. The earrings are also from Marshalls. I believe these are Christian um, Siriano. Let me get the light right. Yeah, I believe these are Christian Siriano from Marshalls, and they were only like 12 bucks, but they are absolutely stunning. Yeah. So that's the look. I'm gonna grab my Chanel bag, the black one with sand, um, and we are gonna head off to cocktails and dinner. I will link this down below if I can find it. Oh, we also need to pick a fragrance. I think I'm gonna try my brand new uh, Paragon perfume because it's so unique and I think people would enjoy it. So we're gonna try that. And then I'm gonna mix it with the um, Saint Clair from Joseph Duclos that I got in Paris. Ooh, that is a beautiful combination. Okay. My girl Jacqueline there from Hennessy. She is the Florida ambassador for Hennessy. And the last time I went to a Hennessy event, she invited me. So it was really great to see her. Let me turn on the light. <laughs> um, so yeah, it was super fun. I met a lot of new people, which is great. I'm always looking to like expand my, you know, group of friends here. Everyone loved my two-piece set from Marshalls. I had to tell everyone, it's from Marshalls, you know. Y'all gotta get up on that. But they gave us a gift bag, and since I'm heading to New York first thing tomorrow morning, I thought I would show you what's in the gift bag. 
we have the Mr. Porter Post. And if you don't know about Porter, it's a website mostly for men's um, clothing, watches, accessories. Um, I even think they have beauty, which is really cool. So happy they have launched in the US. Oh my God, there's so much stuff in here. So let's try and get through this. We got a Hennessy XO, extra old um, cognac. Great. This is gonna go perfect in my bar. How cute. I have a little bar area, so that'll be good for that. We have some matches from Mr. Porter. It says Mr. Porter in America. Can you see it? Super cute. I'm guessing there's a candle in here if we have matches. Let's see what's in here. Uh, Jacques Marie Maj, Los Angeles. What is this? What is this? Oh, it's like a little book. That's cool. But like, there has to be something else in here. Like, this is super heavy. Oh, cool. Sunglasses, which you can never have. Look at this. Come on, this thing does not wanna. The packaging on this is exquisite. Um, so these are sunglasses, handmade in Italy. Very cool. I mean, in Miami, you really can't have enough of sunglasses. And by the way, there were so many different cocktails from Hennessy. I might be a little tipsy, or maybe a lot. <laughs> But how cool are these? Very cool. Wow, they are really stunning. Do you guys see the clear part here? Beautiful. Super thick too. I love like a nice sturdy pair of sunglasses. Also, something else from Hennessy XO. Ooh, look, a little stamp. How cool, like a little stamp. Very cool. And what else is in here? We have a Mr. Porter. Ooh, $200 gift card. Very cool. All right, so that's everything that's here in the gift bag. I had such a good time. I met so many cool new friends, so happy about that. I'm about to finish packing. I started packing before I left, but I'm gonna finish packing. I'm not taking a lot because I'm only gonna be in New York for like three days. And of course, I already have clothes there, but I'm going to like three really special events. So I wanna have like beautiful dresses and conversation starter pieces and outfits. So I'm just gonna finish packing. I'm gonna set up an Uber to pick me up first thing in the morning. And then I fly out tomorrow at seven. So I'll check back in with you guys when we're in New York. Hey y'all, so I am back in New York City. Today is Wednesday, I caught the first flight out of Miami. Um, but I came here because I have a few events that I really wanted to attend. Tonight I am heading to a dinner with Harlem's Fashion Row as well as Amazon. And you all know I've worked with Harlem's Fashion Row for several years, most recently covering uh, their um, New York Fashion Week show. Um, and I've also worked with Amazon. I am an Amazon ambassador and I've also had an Amazon The Drop collection. So I had to make it out for dinner tonight. Um, I forgot what restaurant it's at, but it looks really beautiful. Of course, with Harlem's Fashion Row, you always want to celebrate black designers. So I'm wearing my 
Fina Well dress that I actually wore on my birthday. I love this dress. I've been thinking of where I could wear it to and this is the perfect occasion. Sorry if I'm looking a little orange, the sun is setting. And I figured that it's bouncing off the windows and making me look very orange. Um, but very excited for that tonight. Of course, gonna take you guys with me. So I'm gonna call my Uber head out i'm sure i'm gonna know a few friends there let me show you the full outfit it was kind of hard for me to find a heel because it is like fall and winter here in new york city versus miami where it's hot and you can just wear a sandal with this so let me show you how i styled it so this is the dress i just went with these earrings also from a black owned business the gilded stone i got this dress in a small and for the shoes, I went with um, these like fur Gianvito Rossi um, sandals that I've had for a while. It's like 70 degrees. It's I'm actually really hot <laughs> in this dress. So I'm not going to wear a coat or anything. I think I'll be fine if everything is indoors. Um, so yeah, that's the look. And let's go. <music> Good morning everyone. Today is Thursday, November the 3rd, I believe. I am up bright and early because I am heading to an event with Moroccan Oil and Halo um, to benefit children, which is great. I love going to events like this and they invited me. Um, and then I'm going to check out the spring summer collections from Lucien Pages which is a PR company based in Paris. They brought all their things here. So I definitely wanna go check that out. And then tonight I have um, a cocktail with my Teresa and Oscar De La Renta. So a busy, fun day. I just did a super basic, quick look. Um, the lip is Makeup by Mario Daniela. It's just like a beautiful, like kind of pinky. Just to add some color. I'm wearing my favorite blazer from and other stories with the open back this is part of their attico i uh, know awake mode uh collaboration i have on a fendi skirt gonna take my fendi bag and toss on my stuart weitzman boots but today is gonna be fun so let's get into it all right guys sorry about the light in here and the noise because they're doing construction but i have on my edge of ember necklace from the victoria most recent collection it's absolutely stunning and i'll link it down below um it's also it's sustainable which is great um and the earrings are super old from carolina herrera 
I have my Fendi bag. This is the look. I have on my Stuart Weitzman boots. This vintage Fendi skirt that I got from What Goes Around Comes Around. Um, Fendi bag. And of course, this and other stories blazer from Awake Mode. Let me show you guys the back. I actually wore this recently on Instagram. And I showed it to you guys when I bought it. So, loving this. I'll show you the full look. They sent me an Uber coat, Moroccan oil, which is great because y'all know New York City, the Ubers are crazy. I've already called my Uber and we're gonna head down to, there's a panel. Um, I know Nicole Miller is speaking on it and quite a few, I think Nigel Barker and a few other notable people in fashion. So it should be really fun. All right guys, I hope you can see, but here's the look. Anything that's still available, I'll link down below. I know I found a few of these vintage Fendi uh, Zuka print skirts that I'll link. The boots are Stuart Weissman. They're so good. They're the parton boots. And of course my Fendi baguette. That's the look. I'm going to spray on some Baccarat and a little bit of Dior Bois d'Argent. I love that mixture. Everyone loves it. And we're off. Poetry is in my blood and in my veins. Um, it's been there since I was about nine years old. So I'm currently working on my book. And I always wanted to help, but I never knew how. And I think a lot of us feel that way, especially in the world right now with all the crazy things that are going on. <laughs> and so we started Club Halo, which is an online way for kids to learn about kids who are in need. All right, guys, just leaving the Moroccan oil Halo event it was really really cool i definitely learned a lot about their foundation which helps um kids that are homeless or don't have a lot of access to help so that was really really cool um i also got to meet nigel barker and uh nicole miller so that was really really cool um, so now I'm just in Meatpacking District. I'm going, anytime I'm over here, <laughs> I always head to this place, Two Minds, just to check them out and see what they have. Um, sorry, I'm blown out. But yeah, I have a, a, a lot of events coming up where I have to have like dresses and um, like black tie events. Sorry about the light, guys. But yeah, so I'm going to go over there and see if I can find anything. See if I can find anything and take you guys with me. And then we're going to head to the Lucian um, Pages uh, Spring Summer 23 um, preview. So yeah, I got so many compliments on my outfit and I threw it together, y'all. So I'm happy about that. I love being in meatpacking, so nice over here. Let's check out the spring 2023 collection. All right guys, just leaving the showroom. Unfortunately, I could not film. Um, they didn't want us to film the collections, but a lot of the collections that I saw, I also saw in Paris. Um, they had Botter there, they had Area. Um, they had Pucci um, and a bunch of other people that they represent. So yeah, it was nice to be able to see the clothes up close and personal and kind of meet 
their team. I'm sorry I couldn't film, but you all would have seen most of those pieces when I did the Paris Fashion Week vlogs. So yeah, I'm gonna head home now and rest, and then I'm gonna change and head to the event with my Teresa and um, Oscar De La Renta, so. Everybody like my look today. It's giving. Hey y'all, so I'm all dressed and ready in my outfit for tonight to head to the My Teresa Oscar De La Renta cocktail. I am wearing the dress that I shot um, earlier in the vlog. It is from Ann Other Stories and their collaboration with Awake Mode and it's stunning. I actually just posted the pictures over on my Instagram. So if you're coming from today's video, drop your girl two red hearts and a comment. Let me know what was your favorite part of this vlog. Um, I just updated my lip. Same makeup from earlier, I just refreshed it just a bit. Um, the lip is Dior, I'll link it down below. Remember, I do have a code, Monroe22, to get you a gift with purchase, including a miniature fragrance for orders over $150 at Dior Beauty. I'll link a few of my favorite things. Um, these earrings are super old and I really can't remember where they're from. Like all of the earrings I have here in New York are old. <laughs> but yeah, that's the look. And the shoes are my Balenciaga sock booties. Very, very comfortable. I've seen them at a few places online, so I'll link them down below. But that's the outfit for tonight. I'm also going with my Dior bag. Let me show it to you. So this is my vintage uh, Dior bag from the Rasta collection that I picked up in Paris. Um, if you watch the Paris vlogs or what I bought in Paris, you've seen this. But I think it's just a great pop of color and a good conversation starter. So yeah, just spoke to my girl Janae of Hilo Lux and she's also going to be at the cocktail. So really nice I get to hang out with her. She has been crushing it, whether it's Milan Fashion Week, Paris Fashion Week, Doha. My girl's been killing it. Like... For real, for real. So I look forward to seeing her because it's been a minute since I've seen her. In fact, I haven't seen her since Paris and we only saw each other like in passing and at a few events. So it'll be nice to catch up with her and Josh. But that is the outfit. Anything still available, I'll link it down below for you all. Let's go. Hey. 